Hello students, in this video we'll see how to solve problem 5.3.3. 5.3.3 has us consider the differential equation y double prime plus 9y prime minus 10y equals 0. And it says suppose we know that y1 equals e to the x solves the ODE. We want to find the other solution by reduction of order. Reduction of order tells us that if we have a second order ODE, we can find the general solution by writing y as a function of x times the solution you know. So in this case, we'll have a function of x, which we'll typically denote by v of x for the function of x. The solution we know is e to the x. So we are going to try to find the solution to this ODE of this form. So we'll differentiate. y prime will be the first function v times the derivative of the second function, that's easy enough to do, plus the second function, e to the x, times the derivative of the first function. Then I will do the second derivative, y double prime. We'll start by looking at this term over here. It's the first function times the derivative of the second function, plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. Those are the derivatives of those terms, plus the first function, times the derivative of the second function, plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. And now we plug it back into the equation. So the second derivative is this entire expression over here, which we can simplify to v double prime e to the x. Then I will have 2 v prime e to the x, and a v prime, just a v e to the x. That's my second derivative term. Then plus 9 times the first derivative, which is going to be an e to the x v prime plus v e to the x minus 10 v e to the x. And we set this equal to 0. Now we observe that when we do a reduction of order, the terms that only contain v's should cancel out. So the terms that only contain v is this term over here, negative 10 v e to the x. Then this term over here will be a 9 v e to the x, and this will just be an ordinary v e to the x. So between these first two terms over here, I have a v e to the x and 9 v e to the x, that's 10 v e to the x, minus 10 v e to the x will cancel out. So all those terms that are highlighted in pink will cancel out, and so we'll be left with the following ODE. We'll have v double prime e to the x, and then I'll have a 2 v prime, and then I'll have a 9 v prime, so that's going to give me an 11 v prime e to the x equals 0. Now we have accounted for all of our terms on this side of the equation. And so we notice that there's, a v e the, there's an e to the x on both of these terms, so we can cancel out by that. We'll have a v double prime plus 11 v prime equals 0. And now we know what the solutions of this are. The solutions of this equation, well, the characteristic equation will give us what? The characteristic equation will give us r squared plus 11r equals 0. So we have r equals 0 or r equals negative 11. So it tells me that v of x is going to be c1 plus c2 e to the negative 11x. And now we have to multiply this by e to the x. So y is equal to v of x times e to the x, which is going to be c1 plus c2 e to the negative 11x times e to the x, which will simplify to c1 e to the x. That was the solution we started with plus c2e to the negative 
10x, which is the solution we found through the reduction of order method. We have two constants, c1, c2, to a second order equation, and this demonstrates how reduction of order will give us the general solution to the homogeneous problem or non-homogeneous problem if we just have one particular solution. Thank you very much.